Well, what's up, everybody? I'm just uh, driving through Cluiston on a little golf cart because that's how we roll around here. Actually, Cluiston's a little golf cart community, so we actually it's legal to drive in golf carts. So, kind of cool, small little town and a little perk of it. So, when I'm home, the truck or battle wagon can just rest. She can rest. There's the canal that Hillary does all her damage in. Oh, I want to go check and see this. See if we see any fish spawning. It's getting that time of the year where we'll catch a big one or two out of here. So I have a question for you. I'm thinking about having a tournament, like a canal tournament. A canal tournament, no boats needed, just walk down the bank. And uh, who would be down to come to Cluiston and have a little canal tournament? What do you think? So drop a comment down below. I'm thinking about doing that maybe, maybe sometime in December kind of cool like right before the holidays It'd be kind of fun right but I've got something really cool that just came in the mail this box right here full of stuff I'm gonna do something to my bass boat that I have been wanting to do for quite a while and I'm super excited about this because as you well know all the traveling we do we got to keep we got to keep all of our stuff safe and secure oh my goodness almost lost it almost lost it all right we're gonna get the boys to do a little little trip for me today so we got battle wagon. There's my other skeeter. All these bugs are flying around everywhere. Let me show you all something kind of crazy. These these bugs, these are like little chisley winks. They're everywhere. They're like literally everywhere flying. And they come from the lake. Like there's a bunch of them right here. See them all right there? These are all the little bugs that are in the grass. And the wind's blowing. The lake's just right out there and the wind's blowing and it literally blows the bugs in from the lake oh yeah right here so at night so at night guys these bugs all like gang up around our light look at this oh my gosh they don't bite though they're not bad bugs they're just like bugs they're just annoying so the fishing has been pretty good guys and we're gonna get out there and shoot some new content on the lake and i actually have a really cool little fishing tip for you in this video as well but first we're gonna show you what's in this box pretty cool Let's see what the boys are doing Hello, hello, hello. Oh, look at y'all. Man, what y'all working on? Secret videos. What y'all working on? Well, that looks really secret. All right. It's so secret, <laughs> can't you see it? Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? All right, so check this out. Right there. You know how, like, we sleep with one eye open? Or at least I do. Not anymore. Yeah. I don't sleep with one eye open anymore. Because we're putting this in the bass boat, dude. You know, we have it in the in the Freeman. Now we're putting in the bass boat. Siren Marine. This is Siren Marine 3. And we have to put that in. And then all these sensors, they're going to go in the compartment lids, which is cool. So now we can't steal your tackle lids? That's right. Now I get an alert on my phone, actually. So we're going to do this high water sensor. So if we keep the boat in the water, like down, like if we were in a dock yeah. or a house with a dock, and all of a sudden something happens and the water gets in the boat, I'll get a little text on my phone and if somebody opens a compartment up to steal some of my swim baits like Matt Airy or somebody. <laughs> Matt Airy needs this actually because he, you know, he can protect all of his tackle because he doesn't like to let any of it be shared. Yeah. So anyways, so here's what I need y'all to do. If y'all can take the boat over there today to Marquee Marine and they, they said they can install this pretty quick, got all the stuff here and then come back and then we'll show everybody what it's about. So if we could do that, it'd be yeah. awesome. And you've been wanting to go to Best Buy anyways, get some stuff. Because we have nothing here in Cluiston except a Walmart. So anytime we need like hard drives, <laughs> Dude, Walmart. <it's> so bad. <laughs> yeah. Anytime Best we need a hard nice. drive, we gotta like drive to West Palm. So yeah. being that you're going that way anyways, maybe stop by Marky Marine. Let these guys throw it in there real quick. Pretty much Cyber Marine 3 right here. We're gonna install this in the bass boat. We're gonna have these sensors. The great thing about these sensors are all wireless, so we don't have to like run a bunch of wires in the boat. We're literally gonna power the Siren 3 Marine up. We're going to remote the uh, entry sensors in, the high water sensors in, and uh, it's good to go. And, and we will be protected because, honestly, I've had it on the Freeman now for a year. No issues at all. Anytime the boat leaves, I know where it is. You've seen all my Instagram posts where I'm, like, showing the pictures of the boat, like, on the screen, satellite imagery of where the boat's at fishing that day. I can see my fuel mileage. I can see how fast the boat's going. You know, if anybody gets on the boat, takes the boat, steals the boat, I'm going to get an alert. I'm going to know exactly where the boat is so I can call the authorities, and that's good. But for bass fishing, you know, for me, it's like this. 
I have my life in there, right? We go on the road. We don't have time. Like if all my stuff got stolen, God forbid, if all my stuff got stolen, it would be a mess trying to, you know, get your new rods and getting all the new tackle. I mean, there's tackle that I've had in that boat that I've had for many, many years, and it's special to me. The really, really good lures, you know, it, it, it's it, the the rods are all. I mean, everything. You, it just can't. I can't afford to lose all that. It would be bad. Uh, especially on the road. And we stay in so many different places. You know, not not only when we rent houses, but a lot of times when we're just traveling on the road, we stop at, you know, hotels at night. Yeah. You know, it, you just need to know. I remember I remember a few years, well, this is probably seven or eight years ago, um, a bunch of guys got their stuff stolen, like mm-hmm. the night before the tournament. Yeah. Like literally tournament day, they walk outside at 5.30 in the morning Nothing. and everything's gone. All the rods are gone. Like stuff's gone. And um, that's a problem. I remember another tournament at Table Rock or one of those lakes one of the last days of practice, the guys had their boats in uh, like boat slips at this marina, mm-hmm. and they walked down there the next morning, and their boats are gone. Like literally, like six bass boats gone out of the slips. Come to find out, they they're floating out in the lake. So what the what the thieves did is they came in at night, got in the boats, untied them, troll motored them out of the harbor quietly, and robbed all the stuff and just left them out there floating. So at like 7.30 in the morning, people run in the lake. There's boats floating in the lake. All the gear's gone. So it's going to give us peace of mind, dude. I mean, that's really invaluable in my opinion. So uh, that's why, you know, if you're on a saltwater boat and you want it for lots of reasons, you know, fuel mileage, all the other things too, you need it. For bass boat and freshwater fishing, for me, it's about safety and security. I know as I travel, nobody's going to get in my boat as it's parked here at my house. Somebody opens up one of my compartments while I'm inside, pries one of them open, I'm gonna get an alert on my phone, so um, so that's the deal. So y'all go install that, or at least have Marquis do it. Those guys are awesome. And uh, come back and we'll check it out. What the world? What was that? Thing? You ever seen one of those things? I, don't know. <laughs> I didn't even really get to see it. Oh. Shit! It's like a monster truck. But uh, I guess we're pulling in. We're trying to figure out where the heck we're supposed where to go. To? <laughs> Both of us have never been here, so this is. Uh, Scott was like, Boof, "Go do this for me and." Hopefully you can figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Marquee Marine. That's it. Look at this boat. Uh, Look at that. I guess just park and we'll figure park it out. Where? <laughs> I know this is very tight. I just park. I'd like pull up right here and then we'll go in and talk. Welcome guys, we are at uh, Marquee Marine here in Lake Park. My name is Chris Marcassani. I'm the owner of Marquee Marine. Uh, today, me and my guys will be installing a Siren 3 Pro on Scott Martin's bass boat. As you previously may know, we did the Freeman down in Isla Mirada. Uh, we did a bunch of wireless sensors on that boat, bilge pump sensors, and the main 3 Pro device. Uh, we're gonna do that again today, as well as some, a high water sensor and some entry sensors to protect uh, all of the goods inside the bass boat while he's out tournament fishing. All right, guys, we have uh, finished the install here on the bass boat. And in the back of the bilge, we have the uh, main Siren 3 Pro. The reason we can put it back here is this is a freshwater use boat, so we're not really worried about corrosion buildup. It's near the battery. It's it's uh, easy power solution. Uh, Siren wants the unit connected directly to the battery. And right next to it, we actually do have the high water sensor. Uh, that is a mobile wireless sensor, the little dongle is down in the bilge if your bilge water gets too high it will go off it will send an alert uh, and let Scott know that something's wrong with the boat all right so we have installed the wireless sensors uh, it's a pretty simple installation when it comes to the wireless you have the main box here where you have to mount on either side of the hatch and in this case we had to mount it on the bottom side of the actual hatch itself and then we have the little sensor on the uh, lip of the hatch to uh, connect once you drop it so right now on the app it would show that it's open uh, that there's an alert and then once you drop it it uh, connects and the hatch closes uh, and the app shows that everything is just fine how did you spend fifty dollars at chick-fil-a we both got milkshakes you got a milkshake too I'm well, so did you huh did you buy the whole franchise hey. right, what are we doing here oh he well, just lifted it, it. Yeah, oh okay done, all right man. all right let me come on wait on you for an hour 
see how good he is. Come look at this sticker though real quick. This is the best non-sponsored sticker ever. Oh yeah. <laughs> who's it? No, I don't know who's this. You don't Bucky. know what that is? It's Bucky's gas station. Oh I've never gone to a Bucky's. You're special. Where's their Bucky's? Daytona. Look at and... him. Look at go face the same way as <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he look like Bucky? <laughs> is that so why it's on the truck? So I'm this is like a it. it's like a big pilot gas station, but they have like groceries and food, warm food, like fresh food, like pulled pork like sandwiches. Or they have clothes, they have stuffed animals, Wawa. they have this like farmhouse, like kitchen section where you can buy like pots and pans and wall stuff on the wall for your kitchen. And uh, this is like his favorite store. So anytime we travel and we pass there. one, we can't stop. So it's <laughs> in, or we can't not stop. So it's in Florida, Alabama, Texas. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate it. Thanks for all the help. Have a safe drive back. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. Can't wait to see the video. Yeah. Fifty dollars at Chick Fil A. Dude, I don't know what the heck happened. I... How do you spend fifty dollars at Chick Fil A? That's yeah. a lot of food. Dude, your order was bigger than mine. I got chicken nuggets and a salad. A salad's twelve dollars. Chicken nuggets well, are like eight dollars. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's that's what I'm saying. You spent the money, brother. I. What did you get? The, basically, this, I got a sandwich meal and an eight nugget and a milkshake. That's, I got the same thing as you, just different food. Like we both got the eight nugget so on top of. So we each spent twenty five dollars at Chick Fil A. We're expensive. I know, dude. I just wanted to update the YouTube and explain that we're not as fat as you're thinking that we are. I said two eight count nuggets, and they ordered us four. So it really would have been maybe like forty dollars, so like twenty dollars a piece. <laughs> we're still fat, but not as fat. All right, guys, the boat is back from Marquee Marine. Huge shout out to those guys. Chris, you did a fantastic job as always. And like I said, if you have any uh, wiring needs, electronic needs, anything on the East Coast, be sure to uh, check out Chris at Marquee Marine. But, but anyways, we're going to look into this. We're going to dive into this. I'm going to show you what he did, show you how the compartments uh, open up and the notifications I get on my app, kind of give you a quick rundown of that. But before we jump into that, I did promise you a really good little fishing tip. It's a tip that We'll save you some money, okay? So, and it's something that you might, you might know this tip, you might not, okay? So let's take a swim bait, for example. Okay, here's a saucy swimmer. And let's take a jig head, okay? This is how I typically rig it. On these swim bait heads right here, you see that little tab sticking up, and that's what locks the plastic on the shank of this. Typically, people will rig this and just push it straight up on there centered and push it straight on and good to go and for years that's how i rigged it too but what happens is you know the, the you catch a few fish and all of a sudden that starts sliding down uh the shank and you end up having to like change your bait more often uh you make a long beautiful cast and your bait slides down your shank and you, you don't even know what happens so what i like to do is rig this and i come in like this okay and i get to where that is getting ready to uh, normally just push it right back on. I'm going to turn the bait sideways, okay? I'm going to quarter the head of this bait, push it up now, okay? So it's basically, look at that. So it's, it's crooked, right? It's crooked. It's sideways. It's a quarter turned. But now I'm going to turn it back center. Now what did that do? That allowed that bait keeper on this shank of this jig head to lock into fresh plastic. If I had just pushed it straight on, like a traditional way of doing it, you tear a channel all the way through. It still holds it for a little while, but it's more apt to tear out and lose its grip because it's already torn. Pushing it in and then turning it at a quarter turn, pushing it on on the quarter turn, bringing it back to center to lock it in place, fresh plastic all the way through the head now. So I'm going to tell you right now, this bait will not slide down on the shank of this uh, jig head for a while. Okay, you're going to catch more fish. You're not going to go through as many baits and it's going to save you some money. So it's a little bit of a tip. And again, in tournament fishing, guys, look, we all have in the tournaments, we all have the same kind of boats. We all have the same kind of rods. We all have we all have similar knowledge. Right. But it's efficiency. A lot of times it separates winning and losing. And if I can be more efficient with my swim baits, making more casts throughout the day, not changing baits or having failed casts because my bait slides down the hook, 
I'm gonna catch more fish. So anyways, that was a little tip for you there on that. So, but now let's dive into Cy Marine. Let me show you this app. All right, so let's show you how this is all installed in here. Let's go through the whole thing. I'm gonna go through the app, talk a little bit about it. But look, at the end of the day, guys, it's all about protecting your investment. As I travel on the road, uh, have the peace of mind knowing that my boat is safe and secure when I sleep. If I get, you know, anybody gets in my boat, snooping around, I'm gonna get a notification. If I have my boat in the water and the water gets in my boat, I'm gonna get a notification. If I'm low on battery power, I'm gonna get a notification. So it's really good for all those things. It's, it's really the perfect setup for tournament fishing. But let me show you what they've done here in the back. All right, so the Siren Marine 3 uh, modular is hooked up right there, and that is hardwired into the battery. And so that way it has juice all the time, of course. And then you see these little antennas right here, which is the wireless sensors throughout the boat. So the great thing about this setup is that once you put that main brain in, you don't have to wire all the little sensors. That's all going to be wirelessly connected. So it really makes it an easy install once that's the hardest part right there, which is not hard at all. Literally hook that up and good to go. And uh, you can wire it into your NEMA as well. All right, guys, so look, this boat is outfitted now with all the proper sensors. And what's really great about the Cyber Marine 3 is that, you know, we wired that in, but all of the sensors for the compartment lids are all basically wireless. So really easy to install. You don't have to run a bunch of wires. But this compartment lid right here has a sensor right here, as well as this lid right here has a sensor on it right here. And all of my lids, front and back, have all the sensors on it. And, and here's why that's important. As, again, as we travel uh, all over the country, I'm not familiar with the areas, obviously. And you run into some issues occasionally where people are wanting to snoop around on your boat or do some things. The peace of mind and knowing that that stuff is safe in here is worth it, okay? Uh, I'm going to get a notification on my phone. So let me show you how this works. So here we have the Siren Marine app. And uh, check this out, guys. It shows where the boat is right now. There we are at my house, literally. We, we pulled it. There it is right there, literally beside the tree. Like you can see it. So if someone stole my boat, this is why it's important, somebody stole my boat, I'm going to get a notification. I set a geofence here at my house. Uh, if I'm on the road, I could set a geofence around that area too. If my boat gets moved, I'm going to get a notification on my phone, and it's going to say the boat is, you know, underway. And I can call the authorities, and we can track the boat down. I can literally tell them where the boat, boat is, and that's important. Number two, if I open up this compartment lid, compartment lid's open, boom, there it is. Starboard alert. You heard the alarm. You heard everything and I get a notification. So as I'm laying there at bed at night, I'm gonna to say to myself, someone just opened a compartment in my boat and I can go out and address that issue, uh, which is super good. Or no matter where I am, let's say I'm on the road and my boat's here and uh, Hillary gets in my boat to get stuff, I'm gonna get a notification. I can call Hillary and say, are you in my boat? And she's gonna say, yes, I'm getting some lures. And I'm gonna say, keep your hands off the lures. <laughs> because she likes to get in there and dig around with all the good stuff. Or this might be good for Matt Airy, you know. Matt Airy starts sniffing around in my boat uh, while we're on the road. I'm going to get a notification, so I'm going to know, like, instantly. Someone's in my boat. But, but that's it, guys, right there. So all of these, uh, all these sensors are connected. She gives me the alerts. It tells me uh, everything I need to know. There's my battery indicator right there. Right now I have 13.09 volts on my battery. It means I have good, good juice and that's going to keep track of my fuel as well. I can have my fuel sensors on here. So the Siren Marine app works great, not only for my bass boat, but for my Freeman 42. So guys, uh, we're going to drop some links down below. If you own a boat, you want to keep your stuff safe and secure and be fully connected to your boat, be sure to check out Siren Marine and um, install your boat. It was very easy and it's, uh, it's very economical. And, and look, it, it's, it's worth it, guys. So thanks for checking the boat out. Thanks for hanging with us on this video. And thanks Siren Marine for... Uh, Make it a great product. We'll see you guys. Boom.